Today's video is sponsored by Athletic Greens. So welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. We're back down here on my sister's driveway this afternoon and we have a lot to talk about and a lot of work to do. But before we get into all that, I want to share a message from our sponsor. So I mentioned earlier that today's video was sponsored by Athletic Greens and I want to thank them for sponsoring today's video. AG1 by Athletic Greens is a nutritional drink that has us very excited about our health routine. I'm going to the gym early in the mornings, but I find myself coming home and possibly wanting to take a nap. So. AG1 has really helped with that. I have to admit, I'm not as young as I used to be. Neither am I. It's crazy getting old, isn't it? It is. Between I need my reading glasses, I need my AG1. Like, if, if it's missing, you know it. Definitely helps with the energy. Absolutely. So Melissa and I were looking for a couple different things from a nutritional drink. Number one, like we mentioned, is energy. Uh, we stay busy all the time. We get up early. We always have something going on. And AG1 definitely helps with the 2 p.m. sleepies. You know, after you eat lunch in the afternoon, for some reason, I always used to get tired when I take a nap. That has definitely helped with that. Along with the boost in energy, we're also looking for something for immune support. And I don't like getting sick, but... I also really don't like when Mike gets sick because it's much worse. I handle but, everything like a trooper, Melissa. Yeah, but you know what? AG1 has vitamin C, zinc, and other healing properties, and that's exactly what your immune system needs, and it has been beneficial. All right, something else I was looking for is recovery, to speed up my recovery. From working out to the gym, working alongside Mike, chasing Hunter, the dogs, you know what? I needed to be able to have that recovery bounce back. It has superfoods and magnesium that help with recovery. And it has, it's done just that. Go to athleticgreens.com slash outdoors with the Morgans to get started on your order. Athletic Greens is gonna give my community a free one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. So we're down here on the driveway and if I had to guess, we're just about in the middle of the driveway. And what I mean is from where I'm standing, that direction it's probably about 900 feet up to the house 
and from here that direction is probably about 900 feet down to the road now I have everything stoned up until this point everything from here on up all the ditches are done they just need touched up in a few places here and there I'll get that with the excavator on my way up and then later on today I need to get the site ready for where that shed is gonna go I think it's a 10 by 20 that's how this all started down here the driveway was kind of all grown in real narrow and my sister bought this like Amish built shed it's a 10 by 20 and some people said it would have been easier just to build a shed up there than to widen the driveway out which is probably true however this is needed done for a very long time so it's kind of a uh, kill two birds with one stone sort of thing I've been wanting to do this for a while and it'll make it so much easier to plow this driveway in the winter time it has just been so narrow and rutted and just rough it's really been a tough driveway it's down here in the bottom of the valley you know you've got a big hill on this side the streams right over here to my left and all the water from all over comes down this way so it's really tough to try to contain all that and get it to where you want it to go but like i said this is needed done for a very long time which is why i'm doing it the amazon driver just came down as you can see from his tire tracks right here it's still pretty pasty from here on up i'm going to need uh, at least another load of stone probably two more loads so far i've gone through a load of 2b limestone which is what you see right here and a load of the number three rock which is about that big normally i don't use that on a driveway normally i use a 2a limestone which is like this size here down to dust it packs in really well but this driveway is actually pretty flat i mean it's not real steep and this 2b kind of sits down in the driveway a little bit all i'm trying to do is get a bunch of stone on it there's places it might be a little softer than others it'll kind of work itself out and then i can hit it with the land plane you know i'll give it a week or two of them running on it i'll hit it with a land plane and get it real smooth Another question that I keep getting asked is why don't I have the driver just tailgate the stone on instead of me spreading it with the skid loader or the tractor? Well, the reason is this. I like spreading stone. Actually, that's not really the reason. The reason is when you spread it with the truck, you know, when you tailgate it on, uh, you're going to get the same thickness of stone. Wherever he has his chain set on his tailgate, that's what it's going to be. It might be two inches, three inches, who knows, wherever he has it sets at. The way I do it, I can kind of conserve stone and use as much as I need where I need it. In other words, some places it may just need a real thin layer, other places it may need two or three inches. And on a driveway like this, it's about 1,800 feet long. You know, you try to save as much as you can. It costs about $650 a triaxle load of stone. A lot of people also ask why we don't just pave it. I don't even know what that would cost. Probably. I don't know, 1,800 feet long, 10 or 12 feet wide, have to be 40 or $50,000, maybe even more than that. Plus, probably have to beef up the sub base a little bit as well, and you would still have drainage issues down here. That would not be a fix-all. You'd still be doing work on the driveway, and uh, there's just other things that she would rather spend $50,000 on, and so would I personally. So we're going to head up to the house now for a bit and let things dry up down here. I'll come back later this afternoon or early this evening and get that spot ready for the shed. Uh, but before we do, I need to talk about something very, very important. We have had some scammers or spammers, whatever you want to call them, targeting our comments section on occasion. It hasn't been happening every video, but every once in a while you'll see them pop up. It'll have our picture on it. It'll say outdoors with the Morgans and like you want a prize, message us on Telegram or something like that. It is definitely a scam. I went over this about a month ago. I thought everybody knew that. It's pretty obvious that it's a scam. Uh, before they were using WhatsApp, well, I blocked the word WhatsApp so it was held for review and you guys wouldn't see it. Well, now they're using Telegram, so I recently blocked that word as well. Always look for the verified check mark after Outdoors with the Morgans. And if something seems fishy at all, it is. I guarantee you it is. Uh, we had a ton of emails yesterday from people asking if it was real you know should i send them my credit card no absolutely not always remember if something seems fishy at all i guarantee you it is so please don't fall for that i'll keep blocking them 
I would love nothing more than to find out where these people are from. Boy, would I enjoy that.
right, I just cleaned out this section of ditch here, a little over 100 yards probably. I started down there where I left off with the stone. It wasn't in too bad a shape, but I figured while well, I had the excavator here and that four foot grading bucket, I would clean it out a little bit. What happens is when it rains real hard, you know, dirt and slop will slough down in there and it wants to keep kicking the water out on the driveway. So I wanted to just make it a little bit more of a defined ditch. Should work out pretty good. And by the way, that is the first time, I think in 300 hours on that excavator, I uh, used the uh, offset boom. Works out really good for something like this. I can keep my tracks right in the ditch line, offset that boom, and everything's nice and straight. But uh, what I'm gonna do now is hop on the skid loader, just grade this up a little bit here. I have a little bit of that number three rock left down there. I'm gonna spread it in the worst places. This through here, like right here, solid clay. You get down about 50, 75 feet, there's hard sand rock. It's kind of all over the place in here. So I put that uh, bigger base rock where it's needed, and then the rest, I'll put that 2B limestone. Give you a better look at this here see the whole driveway slopes to this side right here it would be nice if you could get everything to slope to the left but the problem is you get all these trees right here you'd literally have to take all these trees out and pitch everything this way for it to just run off down towards the stream so that's why you got to use the uh, culverts here and pitch everything to the inside but anyway, I think that's about it for today's video. I want to thank all of you for being here, and I want to thank Athletic Greens for sponsoring today's video. If you want more information on that, check out the link in the description.